hello viewers welcome to my channel today video is about pitap uh, and visual inspection in pipeline i will show you today how we carried out pitap and visual inspection this video might help you to understand pitap and visual inspection in pipeline in order to carry out a pitap or visual inspection four basic things we should have knowledge uh, first one is RFI request for inspection where you can find your joint number and joint location and other some basic information about the joint number two is tools there are different tools we use in uh, fit up and visual for fit up inspection normally we use a gap gauge and uh, high low gauge which have uh, different purpose for visual inspection we use uh, bridge cam gauge to uh, measure sometimes defects number three item is drawing drawing is most important part here because we can get all information about the line and pipe in the drawing so without drawing we can't carry out inspection number four item is uh, dimension measurement i include these items because without dimension knowledge we can't uh, inspect the pipeline's uh, condition in the fit up we need to check the alignment and also the pipe location is uh, accurately placed on the place and also for after visual also we need to check the dimension because after welding there is a deflection or uh, deviation can be occurred let's see some fit up and visual inspection in the field this is an rfi we check before starting a fit up inspection rfi means uh, request for inspection generally we receive the rfi 24 hours before the inspection it can vary project by project we can get all the information about the joint location, line number, procedure that is followed. All are in mentioned in the RFI. This video is blurred for privacy issues, but uh, you might understand what procedure we follow during fit up inspection. Another important item is drawing. We need to verify the joint location and also pipe dimensions before welding and after welding so drawing has the important role in inspection before starting inspection uh, i will show you some tools which we can use for our inspection here you can see two uh, tools which are uh, we are going to use for system inspection one is the gap gauge another is high low gauge this is a thread roller to pipe joint and butt weld we will uh, measure the gap between uh, the, uh, between the pipe and uh, the thread roller uh, fit up uh, by gap gauge and we will measure the high low by high low gauge let's see how we check We have course standard and also project specification and procedure. So uh, for accepting a joint, we need to follow all of them. And when meet uh, the requirements, uh, we accept the joint. Now we are going to inspect some pipeline fit up that are going to use for drain line. Here we check three piping material uh, one is pipe to flange and another one is you can see elbow to pipe and uh, third number is t uh, to flange joint Similarly, we will check first uh, gap between the joints uh, by gap gauge and uh, if uh, possible, we will check the high low because elbow to uh, plant joints, we can't check the high, high low for that. We can't set uh, high low gauge on the angular joints, uh, so 
we'll check the hilo visually internal and outside and uh, if it is uh, acceptable we'll uh, accept the joint Okay, there is no internal high low check similarly we are going to check e2 flange fit up joints let's see how we are going to check Next step we are going to check uh, dimension from drawing we check the what uh, dimension we should have here and we will compare and confirm the fit up is followed uh, the drawing properly. Uh, here we will check again another thread roller joints and also the same process start from drawing and uh, dimension and uh, fit up and gap uh, everything will follow same way as i mentioned before uh, visual inspection time also we check uh, all rfi joint number joint location and also the drawing and uh, now here we see one joints uh, and also there is no noticeable defects we can see uh, visually so we didn't use any welding gauge to measure well whether you are from welding field or not uh, i believe this video help you to understand uh, our uh, welding inspection work so please like subscribe and share my channel Thank you.